Good morning. I've been looking forward to this for a while. Got a lot to cover today. Um, I'm going to do a brief introduction to playing harmonica over non-blues chord changes or non-standard chord changes, if you prefer. So this is folk harp, country harp, rock harp, pop harp, anything that isn't a standard 12-bar blues. Um, if you want to just play blues, then, you know, that's fine. That's your prerogative. But your scope for playing with other people is going to be greatly... Uh, widened if um, you can get some of this knowledge down and it doesn't take much okay so what do you need to know you ideally some knowledge of scales and chord tones some understanding that songs are built on chord sequences I'm basically going to assume you're familiar with the the 12 bar form you are going to need a harmonica in the key of C and you're going to need to download the backing track that I have linked in the description. I'm going to try and bring this in under 10 minutes. So uh, let's get on with it. Forgot to say, um, there's going to be more than enough in this video to get you started and uh, get you on your way. But I'm going to go into much more detail in uh, a series of uh, videos for Patreon subscribers. The Patreon link is in the description. So if you want to know more on this subject, uh, that's the place to go. Okay, we're back in the room. What you're hearing is the jam track that I've prepared. Um, it's a very simple jam track. It's just got the one chord, the four chord, and the five chord. Now, there is no real way of playing over non-standard changes without learning the chord progression of the song that you're playing over, okay? Just, you need to know it. <clears throat> if you don't know what I'm on about, one chord, four chord, five chord, hey, I'm a teacher, hit me up. If you're theory phobic, which some people are, seriously, a little bit of effort here will carry you a very long way. Okay, so all I'm going to do is stick a little diagram up there somewhere and we're going to count through these changes, okay? So here we go. We start on the four chord. Three, four, one, two, three, four. One chord. Three, four, one, two, three, four. Five chord. Three, four, one, two, three, four. One chord. Three, four, one, two, three, four. Four chord. Three, four, one, two, three, four. One chord. Three, four. One, two, three, four, five chord. Three, four, one, two, three, four, one chord. Okay, and that's just going to go around and around and around. Okay, so this is going to start simply and then we're going to build on it. Okay, so the easiest, most basic way to accompany is to just play the root note of the chord that the band or guitar player are playing at that time okay when they play a G we play a G when they play a C we play a C when they play a D we play a D I am going to use the holes to draw for the one chord four blow for the four chord and one draw for the five chord okay let's see how that sounds <laughs> Okay, not fantastic, but it fits. And of course, those notes are available in other places on the harmonica. So, how about this time around for the G, uh, for the one chord, I will play six blow. For the four chord, I'll play four blow. And for the five chord, I'll do four draw. 
Let's see how that sounds. Okay, that gives us a few more choices. Okay, so I'd encourage you to sit with that for a while. Play it over and over. Um, use all those different holes. Um, what you're doing as you do that is you are beginning the process of making this instinctual. And if you've not done this kind of thing before, it should be quite satisfying. Um, you're learning the song. You're getting it in you. Um, you're going to get to a point where you're not really thinking about the chord changes, you're just instinctively jumping to them. And that's kind of where we want to be. Okay, excuse me. And don't forget that uh, whether you're playing a G on the two draw or a G on the six blow, it's still a G. If you're playing a C on the one blow or the four blow, it's still a C. So you can mix and match these as you want. And that's what I'm going to do now. So for this third time round, we will see how that sounds. So the next step is we are going to play root notes, but we're going to start putting little transition licks in um, for the chord changes, which is pretty cool. So what's a transition lick? Well, this is where things start to get a little bit more interesting. A transition lick is just a little extra something that we play to highlight the chord changes. Okay. Um, all kinds of musicians and instruments do this. You'll hear the guitar and the jam track doing it. We're starting to spice things up. So instead of just playing the root notes, writing a couple of extra holes in just to highlight those chord changes and really make things uh, start to come alive. OK, um, three levels of this. We've got a very simple one, a middling one, and then one which I'm going to go a bit nuts on. So I'm going to bob a little tab up there and I hope you can follow what's going on here. All I've done is added an extra note or an extra hole, if you prefer to think of it that way, uh, right before each chord change. OK, it'll probably make a bit more sense when you hear it. See if you can follow along with this. Here we go. <laughs> Okay, so before each chord change, sticking an extra note in there, it's starting to make things sound a little bit more musical, a little bit more fun, a little bit more interesting. Um, I would spend a little bit of time with that. Again, if you're not used to doing this kind of thing, it, it really will pay off down the line. Um, but right now I'm going to jump on to level two. I say level two. We're not playing a computer game here. We're just messing around in an interesting way. Um, these transition licks are getting a little bit more interesting now. Um, I've tried to make the tab as clear as I can. So we've got our original one blow, two draw, and one draw. And in between those, we've got these little transition licks that I've came up with. I'm going to play through it once without the jam track, just so that you can hear how this goes. So 
it just goes round and round after that, okay? Um, do listen carefully to uh, both what I've just played and when I play it with a jam track, because there are some different rhythms and stuff going on here. And it could take you a little bit of time to get this down. It's a timing thing, right? So we're playing these transitions before the chord change. And then when the chord does change, we're landing back on that route. <laughs> Okay, and that just keeps rolling round and around. Play with that. The licks themselves aren't really the important thing here. As long as you're playing in time and you're getting there, you can use these more of a guideline if you prefer. Um, okay, let's make it more complicated again. Gone a little bit gonzo in this last example here, but um, it's quite fun, lots of different rhythms and stuff. But by this point, we're f firmly into solo territory, right? You wouldn't be playing this to uh, accompany someone. Um, but, you know, listen, uh, try and think with the chord changes as we play, because we're still hitting those root notes every chord change, even though I've got loads of junk in between. We're still hitting the root note every chord change, and uh, that means we're following along with the music. We're playing along, and it's sounding good. Okay, uh, there's the last example. <laughs> Okay, I've thrown an awful lot at you there in those last three examples. Don't be in a hurry and think you've got to do it all at once. And remember, all we're doing is following the chord changes, no matter how complicated it gets. Whenever that chord change comes, we're landing back on the root of that chord. And in between those, we're just messing around. And uh, that's soloing, right? I hope this has been fun for you. We've got one more thing to say before we wrap this up. It would be reasonable at this point to say, well, how are you coming up with things for the transitions that you're playing? All I'm doing is, oh, I got it right. I normally get that wrong. Ah, I am playing notes. All I'm doing is picking notes from the major pentatonic scale. Okay, there are various ways you can come up with transitions, but this is the most straightforward. We've got a major sounding jam track, so we've got a major sounding scale. All of those notes are going to sound fine. Okay, if you stay within that pattern of blows and draws and whole numbers, anything you play, it may not be perfect, it may not be what you wanted to come out, but it's not going to break the thing. Okay, so you can start improvising with this. Commit that scale to memory, commit it to muscle memory, okay? All the notes you need to play with are there, so... You can just play about with it, okay? Once you've got the 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 scale memorized and the the movements memorized, the whole numbers, you are that gives you license to start improvising here, okay? With the safety net of knowing that you ain't gonna break anything too badly as long as you stay on those holes, right? The major pentatonic scale is your 
friend. Whew. Okay, are we still here? Did we make it? Um, all that is is a very brief introduction to how you can start to play over non-standard chord changes. It's by no means comprehensive. There are other ways you could go about doing this. This is the one I've picked out just because it seemed the most straightforward to be getting on with. And like I say, there's a lot here. Take it slowly. If you're not used to doing it, take it really slowly. You don't need to get it all at once. Um, but I do hope that you have fun with it. Um, obviously, there's going to be more of these videos on the Patreon. I'm going to really dig into this in, in some detail, I think, um, because it's worth doing. So if you liked what you saw, you can sign up to Patreon for more of this kind of thing. The link is in the description. That was Harmonica Miscellanea for this week. There'll be a Life, Love and Blues Harmonica video again on Tuesday. I hope you're having fun. I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, enjoy playing your harmonica, right? I'll catch up with you soon.